I've got my deck, and I'm not really going to differ from it. All right, it's time for the grand finals here. Best of five in terms of best uh, first of three games, as we already have the Tesla down to start things off for Steroidy to open up this. Now, we always go immediately in uh, the test tower right there, and again, immediately into the joint. Is this foreshadowing for the rest of the set? This is exactly what we saw already. He puts the Barbarians in front so that the Inferno Tower can't focus down onto the Giant. We saw that in game two of his semi-final. It was very important. And look, you can already see the Giant getting much further than it would against the normal Inferno Tower. It's just very unfortunate right there that although he actually had a lot of follow-up, uh, there was just really too much damage being pumped out there. So we're back at this stalemate situation. Yeah. But in this exchange, these guys gave away a lot of their cards. And the thing is, is that as much as this is very powerful, there we have two Elixir Collectors on the side of Jason, now one on the side of Steroidy as well. But still, because Jason put his down earlier on, he will gain a little bit of an advantage over Steroidy later on for that. Going to completely ignore that tower, get a nice couple of hits. That's about one, two. I think he may have just got away with damage. that extra hit. Oh that my days, oh, so wow. much damage! The there goes one of the towers. Brilliant stuff there. The minion horde following up there with that hog rider. Now the mortar's down, but does he have defense for it? Giant has been thrown down on his side of the just map. Just put on there. Just out of nowhere. And the Inferno Tower. And unfortunately put too far away. Steroid is distraught and he's not able to deal with it. He must have misclicked during all of that. And this game number one is a disaster for him. Jason is well on the way here to being able to grab oh this. And the second God. tower falls. Just like that. We're not even at one minute left on the clock and he's lost two towers. King Tower is taking big damage as well. Oh. And it could only ever get worse. We have 60 seconds left. The Elixir is going to double the crowd. It's charting Jason's name. Everybody wants this guy to win. The pressure is getting to Steroidy with that misclick there. And he's just going to fire that. He knows he's done in this game. He absolutely knows he's done. That's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's definitely, I mean, that, that is a wrap right there. Yeah. This has been such a dominant game one, and this could potentially be foreshadowing for the rest of the set. This is wow. where This is where Steroidy has to gain composure. Even the offensive Elixir connector up there. That is 1-0 in favor of Jason to start things off. And look at the way he did that. So, so strongly. So strongly. Of course, there was a little bit of a misclick on that Inferno Tower, I would assume, uh, from that positioning. It missed by just pixels. I mean, he definitely was trying to take that out. But oh, I don't know. I think that one mistake at this point in the tournament, one mistake can cost you yeah. so much. You can see his reaction. Uh, and now Jason, uh, once again, I mean, he hasn't dropped he hasn't dropped a map, right? So far through this. Uh... He has dominated <laughs> from start to finish. Again, wow. just to remind people, this guy took out Derek as well, who is like the strongest player on the leaderboards all the time, so consistently. And he just turns up yeah. and wins <laughs> as convincingly as he is. All right, well, we're getting into game number two here. Just a moment, it's Jason Lee's 1-0 in this. First of three wins. Goblin Spearman thrown down on the left. Pekka uh, already starting things off here for Steroidy. So the switch up of the deck, as he is allowed to after losing. He's course. definitely going to want to make his uh, units there go blow for blow this time. So I think the instant switch into the Pekka, and that was an expensive way to start as well, but not really going to phase him at all. And here comes the trade. Hog Riders goes in for a bit of defense. They're going to do a good bit of damage. He is going to trade a couple of tower hits. That's quite significant this early on. Followed up by Princess behind that, and that's actually a really good choice. I was expecting Minion Horde to come out to try and deal with the Pekka, but that's a great response to it. Good freeze. freeze! Here we go! And he's opting to go for the Barbarians instead of the tower, though, so although he did get the freeze, mm. that did save a lot of tower damage on the side of Jason. Yeah, the Barbarians being placed down there will always interrupt that focus fire from it. Now Tesla should be able to pick off the majority of this, <clears throat> so that's all fine. But again, behind this, Jason is racking up his elixir. He now has double elixir collectors. So the longer this game goes on, the better shape he is going to be in against Steroidy. So we see another Pekka go straight in there. Now the question is, what's the follow-up? I like the patience waiting for the Pekka on one side and going into the giant on the other to force him to spend the elixir to defend that left side he rather than put everything towards the attack. Arsh is behind that. Goblins are going to clean that up very nicely. Uh, oh no! But now there's nothing actually to clean up the giant with the arrows being able to fend that off. And he's committing to the Pekka as well. Now that's the thing. That's exactly why Jason put the giant down in that situation to force Steroidy to go in, but he didn't bite. But that's the thing, yeah, that with the giant, there wasn't even that much commitment behind it. Just the archers? That's only three elixir when you've got all that elixir collection. It's so, and, like, and he has the response to defend as well. Oh, and he's going in. That could oh. be a tower trade just like that. Nice. He needed that more than he's needed any play in the past. Yeah. We are getting showered in confetti right now. Yeah, that is a lot of confetti. Oh my God. Uh, but, 
for now. This Tesla isn't really going to hold on for too long. Look, he's seen once again the giant and the hog rider follow up with oh. the amount of damage behind <laughs> it. This is going to take down this tower. What response does he have? He's oh, he tries to go for the three musketeers. A, a little bit of a change up in this deck, but it's not quick enough here. I don't know. I think that the Three Musketeers, that's going to slightly help him. But what does he do now? He's got 35 seconds to get something on the go. Otherwise, um, he's going to be two games down. All right. So the Three Musketeers will be able to clean up a little bit of that. Uh, the Giant will go very quickly, but the Barbarians will put it in front to try and tank as much as possible. Didn't do too much, though. The Pekka's on the right-hand side, though. I don't think I agree with that decision. He had to go on the left and pressure that tower. Otherwise, he's going to lose the game, and he opts to go right instead. Yeah, that's uh, going right is do or die. I mean, he has to go all the way to the, the main tower, but I'm not even sure he's even going to be able to get Get there. Giant goes down. That buys the time here. Jason is not going to lose that tower to the left. He is going to be able to go up 2-0 in this best of five. And he is one game away from claiming first prize here in Helsinki. And you could say these are the most dominant games we have had so far. I mean, just complete and utter destruction going on right now. And it's the fact that this giant is serving so many different purposes. Initially, it's helping him push the lane out. It's helping him tank. He's taking towers. But then when he can afford to be defensive, the giant just soaks up damage and distracts his the enemy unit so he can't get a push on the go. I mean, I joked about, you know, what steroid he might have brought to the table in terms of his special deck that he'd prepared for, uh, for this. And that must have been at least one of them if, if he's prepared a second one potentially. But getting the three musketeers in there, it looked like he never really had any momentum to throw those in <clears throat> and allow them to do the work that they can potentially do. It's a very costly investment is the Three Musketeers. I mean, that's nine elixir, right? Yeah. That's a, that's a lot to spend. These guys waste no time and they go straight back. This could be our final game it could of be. this Clash Royale tournament 2016 Helsinki. Jason opening up with Archers to start. Minion Horde going to be in their response. As you see, the elixir is going down already. Once again, Jason is just opening up the taps a little bit uh, so that he can get those elixir collectors up and running. He's going to get a little bit of damage right there. Might get a couple of hits. Oh, no, that was a oh. big mistake. The freeze all the way to the bottom corner. That might cost him. That is a big investment for not getting anything out of that aggressive push. How does he stop the push besides five? Well, so much damage. He's not going to be him. happy with that mistake. We talked about this earlier. The misclicks with this tournament setting. He might be done. Oh, no. The, the zap to try and stun them, but it's not enough at all. Steroidy is reeling from this. Nah. At this level, a, a fireball is not going to one-shot those barbarians. So you need the Arch Tower to hit them and finish them off. But with the Giant there, it doesn't work. That could have been the mistake of the tournament because, I mean, he has to try and get something going, but the King Tower is so weak and this point, such a misclick. And now, all importantly, he can spawn on his side of the river as well. This is going to be an effort here by Sorodi to try and gain some momentum on the left-hand side. Bog Rider, as well as the Barbarians, trying to push him, but the Giant, well, He's got the minions behind this, and I Jason, don't know if he, he has much blood. to commit to it. Oh no, speaking uh -oh. of commitment, this is another big push. Gonna go in, that's not gonna do loads of damage. Here uh -oh. come the Spear Goblins to try and mop up that second tower. Jason has just crafted this deck so well, and he knows every single response. Just he takes like it down, that. and he's gonna take down the third tower as well. There's nothing left, the arrows come in, and that is that. What Jason. an amazing way to finish this tournament. Jason is crowned the champion here in Helsinki. What a way, what dominance here for Clash Royale. Jason has been a force to be reckoned with non-stop since the very beginning. And what a play to finish this tournament by taking all three towers. No timeouts here. What a way. Fantastic tournament. We're going to go over to Sean, who's going to wrap this tournament up. Out here. Wow. Jason, it is safe to say that you did that with some authority. Oh, I did. Yeah, I did. Guys, please, can I get a round of applause for your champion? Jason. You, you've played fantastically throughout. You now do have 10,000 euros coming your way. How does that make you feel? Really good, especially after the Queen of All right, well, I'm gonna ask you to follow me over here. We're gonna come over here, of course. We're gonna have a little handshake. Guys, I'm gonna jump out of the way. Please, first off, shake hands. Guys, please put your hands together for Story 69. He played fantastically throughout. And not a bad job, you're taking home 3,000. Better, that's not bad for an afternoon, eh? Yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good indeed. I'm gonna ask right now my good friend, Alexander, from Supercell to join me up here on stage. Alexander, 
Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause, please, for Alexander. Alexander, you've been watching throughout. What's this been like for you? I mean, I can imagine it's the culmination of a long time. Come in a little bit closer. Come on, come on, come on. Everybody together. It's been a, been a culmination of a lot of hard work, a lot of dedication, but you see it now. Great matches, good energy, good environment. What's it been like for you? Amazing, simply awesome. There's been so many people involved, so much hard work. Thanks for everybody involved, and thanks for this amazing audience. It's been so great. Thank you. You guys have been fantastic throughout. I really want to say that your energy has been killer. Come on, guys. One more time.